Unlike wine, this is about 43% in alcohol. So you don't have, you can't really hold it too close to your nose. You're just going to get the alcohol flavors coming through. So what I recommend is that you hold it slightly away from your nose and you breathe through your mouth and your nose at the same time. And that kind of, you know, it, it, it allows for it to go into two different areas. So it's it's a little bit less. You don't get that intense alcohol flavors. And then what I what would do is we you take a sip, a small sip. and you roll it around your mouth and you let, you let it interact, sort of have a conversation with your mouth. The trend is not really much in whiskey cocktails, um, but it's more in terms of the whiskey itself and drinking it the way it actually should be drank, which is in South Africa, I would say, just with a few blocks of ice, some people like to just add a little bit of water. The difference is um, if you look at America and you look at Scotland, in Scotland the temperature is very cold. So they don't need to put, you know, a lot of ice. Usually they don't put any ice. Um, but uh, for example, in Brazil, in America, very hot climate, a few blocks of ice is always recommended. In South Africa as well, especially in our summer period, sitting outside on the terrace, definitely need a few blocks of ice with your whiskey.